Hello foodies, today I have something truly special for you. A tantalizing dish which combines innovation with tradition. I'm going to create a delectable Rajasthani gatte ki sabzi. I'm going to start with making the gattas, but this time I'm going to be making stuffed gattas. I have two small potatoes boiled and grated here. One fourth cup of green peas boiled. Half a teaspoon chaat masala. Half a teaspoon of ginger and chili paste. Salt to taste. Two tablespoons of coriander leaves. Give this a good mix. Let's make half inch balls with this mixture. I have two cups of gram flour here, half a teaspoon of ajwain or carom seeds. Crush it between your palms and add it in. One four teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, one four teaspoon of hing or asafoetida, half a teaspoon of coriander cumin seed powder, salt to taste, two tablespoons of oil, a tablespoon of curd, Mix all these ingredients together first. Add in some water and prepare a soft dough. Grease your palms and give this a final knead. Take a small portion of the dough. Make a depression. Flatten it out. Place the stuffing in the center. Wrap it around. Remove excess dough and make a ball. The stuffed gatta balls are ready. I've kept a pot of water to boil. Once it starts to boil, drop these carefully and boil them for 15 minutes. Although gatte ki sabzi is a timeless classic, but I'm going to show you how to make it even more delicious by adding Maggi Masala and Magic. Time is up. Let's turn off the flame and you can see they've also started floating on top. Let's slowly remove them out. I've let the gattas cool down completely and now I have one more process left for it is to deep fry. I have a pan with hot oil in it and now let's start frying them. Once they catch slight colour, we're going to start getting them out. Now I'm going to start with making the gravy for which I'm going to heat up one and a half tablespoon of ghee. Turn on the flame. Once the ghee is nice and hot, add in one tablespoon of ajwain, two dry red chilies, one four teaspoon of asafoetida, just a dash of coriander leaves, Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of coriander cumin seed powder. Fry the spices for a few seconds. 1 cup of churned curd. Stir it vigorously. Now add in the water that we use to boil the gattas. Add in salt to taste. Give it a good mix. I add Maggi Masala and Magic to my dals and sabzis just two to three minutes before turning off the gas. Give this a good mix. And now into this, I'm going to add in the gattas. Toss them in the gravy. In my house, everyone loves its taste. Whenever I add it to dals, curries or even sabzis, everyone enjoys those dishes as it elevates the taste. That's because it's made with 10 spices, roasted and blended to perfection. Maggi Masala Magic adds an extraordinary taste to my everyday food. Cover these and let them cook for 2-3 to three minutes. Our gatte ki sabzi is ready. You can serve this with roti, parathas or even rice. I'm going to taste this because it looks so amazing and the aroma has filled up the room.
Hmm, it's so delicious that I can't even explain. You have to try this and don't forget to share your feedback. Subscribe to the channel. Until then, bye bye.